well, a little interjection here. I am practically reading the whole book, The Starseed Transmissions, here. But I'm calling this by a different name. But in the description bar, I will have the true name, The Starseed Transmissions by Ken Carey. This is just so good. I enjoy reading it. And sometimes people pay attention to something that I just posted, more so than what I posted so long ago. Now I can read longer than 10 minutes, so that's good too. So I will read one more of this, of this part of the Starseed Transmission. This will be my last one on this. And if you want to hear the whole thing, I guess you'll have to go over into the description bar and click on the Starseed Transmissions. But I'm calling this one the Collective Human Consciousness or something to that effect, because maybe that will get more people to look at it, because we are thinking in terms of the collective human consciousness these days, more so than we have before. So I will begin reading this last part of this. It won't end the book, but like I say, you can go finish it by watching the Starseed Transmissions or, or listening to them. I, I don't give you much to watch, just well, the words go by. But um, Anyway, I will begin again. Any hesitation that you feel is only indicative of a continued trust in fear and reason. These are the false gods of this age. They will continue to enslave you until their trust is until your trust is restored in love and life. Trust God implicitly, and the truth of his divine design will be revealed in every situation. This design is your own operating manual. Ignore it in favor of your own interpretations and you are ignoring the blueprint, blueprint of your identity. Specific information for each and every situation is being supplied to you constantly by the source of infinite knowledge. Why not trust it? Your first impulse will always be, as it has always been, the pro, pro, program. Hmm. Programmatic, programmatic instruction from your subliminal, sub, oh, these words I can't pronounce, from your subliminal analysis system. In other words, the advice of your creator. It will be a direct message from your true self, the impulse of life, the gateway to all that you call heaven. It is the spontaneous spark of divinity as it differentiates through you into your environment situation. It can assess and evaluate the factors present in any situation at a rate of speed far exceeding a rational thought process. You have all the pertinent information in the universe available simply for the asking. When you are aware of your totality, the life impulse will transmit to you everything that you need to know in any given situation. Its message will always come to you as your first spontaneous impulse. Be attentive. The Dance of Life. I'll read a little of this chapter. As a child, your conceptual prison was not yet fully defined. You still retained the ability to enter the lands of eternal being. As an awakened child of God, you will again be able to speed up or slow down the passage of time, to stop raindrops on the window or war in the Mideast. Oh, that would be so wonderful. With an awareness of the eternity in each moment, with your involuntary data analysis systems providing you with infallible reports many thousands of times per second, you will have plenty of time to correctly address all the factors present in the moment of whatever circumstance presents itself to you. You will determine the optimal course of action with the ease and grace of a dancer. You will always choose the path of optimal response, not because you lack free will, but because such a path represents for you both the path of least resistance and the path of greatest fulfillment. You will no longer use your free will to make unnecessary mistakes, 
but to find out what part you might most creatively play in the whole. In choosing to do God's will, you will discover the only true freedom. Your ability to function will reach the perfection of its potential, and you will have little difficulty. Correcting the disharmony of your historical situation. Living in a state of grace, you will function much like a computer, monitoring the variables of any given situation, determining the optimum behavioral pattern, scanning, adjusting for new data over and over many times each second. All data pertinent to a given situation will automatically be processed on an unconscious level. Consciously, you will always be aware of a course of action that makes optimum use of the potential available to all factors in that situation. Your inner control mechanism, returned at last to the directive impulse of life, will take care of this unconsciously. It will be as simple and as natural as breathing. Trusting in the design that God has already already incorporated into your physical body is the key to the new type of function. Can you imagine how awkward it would be if you were required to assume conscious responsibility for all the autonomic systems in your body? In a sense, this is what you are doing when you override your autonomic informational processing systems in deference to a rational thought process. Historically, your mind has been preoccupied with an overload of sensory input that was never designed to be processed consciously. Your conscious function is on another realm, a realm of spontaneous creation dance, music, and delight. For this is what you begin to do as you trust, as your trust is restored once again in the life impulse. You begin to dance, dance to the music of your soul. There are seven primary vibrational channels maintained within the overall vibrational body of planetary being. Within each of these seven primary channels are seven sub-channels. The conscious execution of your creative responsibility in the overall design will occur on one or another of these primary channels. The discovery of which level within the planetary being you have been designed to function on will not come through conceptualization. It will come through inner sensitivity to feelings, vibrations, and planetary rhythms. Once you attune yourself to these rhythms, you will find that the functional duties you are called upon to perform are the very things that you most want to do, no longer bound by false responsibilities, born of fear and addiction to past patterns. You will take up the tools of your trade and delight in the creative implementation of God's will. As you work on this new, in this new way, each will hear the different notes of his or her own functional duty, and be dancing out the fulfillment of that particular obligation. On each of the primary channels, all melodies will have the same rhythm and bass notes, and each channel will be in harmonic relationship with all the others. All around you, all across the planet, joyful melodies will be sounding forth, all perfectly synchronized with each other, all playing together, in an exquisitely balanced orchestration, a perfect symphony. This is the Creator's love song to the planet Earth. In this state of grace, no longer will you be compelled by the narrow dictates of your rational interpretations. No longer will you be held prisoner within the structure of your conceptions. You will be free to flow in the joyful, rhythmic, oscillations between your reality as the unmanifest totality of God and your reality as his specific functional projection in form. Tapping directly into the informational systems of eternal being, your species will usher the earth into an age of unimaginable blessings and prosperity. The blueprint for your true work here on earth already exists within you. You do not have to be given instruction by anything outside yourself. 
not by this book, a book of old, not by any person, object, or event. These things may be helpful at times, but your primary task is to awaken the living Christ in your heart. This is your true identity. Express God in all that you are and throw away the crutches that have helped you stumble through history. You are the means by which God loves creation. You are the facilities for the emergence of the catalytic energies in the final stage of the creative process. You are high priests and priestesses invested with the authority to perform the only real mass, the cosmic mass of the world, in which matter is lifted up lovingly into the presence of God and instilled with the power and the life of spirit. So be aware, child of light, of your own importance, not as an individual ego identity, but as a critical ingredient in the structure of all creation. The things you do today, the things you do tomorrow, the things you do next week, have far greater significance than you suspect. Be conscious of what you do, for you are the seed, the origin of much that is to come. Through your actions today, vast worlds will be created and destroyed. Just as a telescope aimed at a distant star has only to move one tiny millimeter at the fulcrum in order to move many light years at the other end, so you too are at a place of beginning with many effects on future worlds yet unborn. Be aware of this. Be aware of yourself. Be aware of your responsibility. Existence in these worlds of form is a wonderful privilege, too joyous for words, but it is a responsibility as well. You must begin to accept this responsibility of your freedom will continue to be curtailed, or should be or. You must begin to accept this responsibility or your freedom will to continue will be curtailed as it is at this time. Release the structure of past identity. Surrender to the guards at the gate of Eden. Eden, all your definitions of now. Relinquish your silly hold on reality and come join us in the freedom of the stars. The doorway is open. Die to all you so foolishly think you know. Lay down your beliefs like the agents of separation that they are. Hope for nothing but what is and see its fullness in every moment. A new time is before your species, a time of realization, fulfillment, and adventure. Accept this time. Move into it. Dance in the momentum of its inevitability. It is the breath of life and the song of God that you have been cut off from for so long. Life is now. Life exists only in the present moment of time, in the presence of God. Thoughts that are oriented toward the past and future serve only to restrict and limit the amount of animating current that is available to vitalize your expression. You have no idea how much energy will flow through you when you have proven your trustworthiness and cleared these obstructions from your circulatory system. I'm going to end right there. I'm about out of time on this video. But anyway, I've enjoyed reading this again. And leave comments if you have any. And let me hear from you. I appreciate that always. Thank you. This is the Dev Lady over and out.